Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. Today I want to create our first story in Storybook for Angular. So with Storybook we can build our UIs without the groundwork. Uh, Storybook is a front-end workshop for building UI components and pages in isolation. Thousands of teams use it and it's very nice because you can build your components then you can do component testing actually uh, Here you see it with uh, Interactions then you have your visual uh, testing and Then you have your documentation that you can add to it So if we go to code you see here that I added meta and story object from uh, storybook angular then we have our import of our class component we have here a function of the storybook tests where we can have action data on achieve task and on pin task and now i can add here actually the declaration of meta which has uh, task component and here we can our exports that end in data are not uh, stories so our talk our tags and our arguments i don't know if we really need this so i'm gonna remove this right now So now I can extend this by just doing this. Export meta, type story. And our first story can be something like this. If we now want to create another one, const print story do arcs and of course I need to I need to initialize it <laughs> and we can do something like this the uh, um, We can use the default ones and you can change the state and a great thing to do of course could be that you also put here in the arcs just some defaults as well it's not a bad practice to do so um, and we can also have uh, another state archived state that we put there and then we have created three stories to test our component isn't that wonderful right now we can test it out by just doing this And now we have our task. I am going to make it so that's the documentation. Action data task. We have a pins and we have an archived. Of course, you see, it all looks the same, right? It just has a title, an ID, and a task pinned or archived, but we don't see any differences, right? So for that, we need to extend our task 
here by just changing the template and adding things on top of this right oh on archive on pin So we can now add also these two methods. If you look into a storybook right now. So I updated a little bit with the styling and then you see here that we have a pinned and we have a archived, right? And cool thing is that you could also change this yourself here if you want and you can actually also create something that uh, you have these multiple options and that you could then have some kind of checkboxes there something i could tell about in another um, storybook uh, tutorial for you right but i think it's nice you can play around with a lot of things here and it really gives you some kind of a sandbox way of doing your work. Um, like I said, interaction testing is also a nice thing to do. Um, you have a play function indeed in your stories, and then you can just create a lot of crazy things with that as well. So actually, if when I hover over it, for example, then you see here that I got some kind of interaction. You can click on it. I could click maybe on it or just click here. No. Click here. And then you can test and see if things work or not. Um, and yeah, debug it and change it and make it better. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. And if so, please support me by uh, subscribing to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much. See you next time.